the vacuum that Extreme Reach tries to fill, so to speak, is, is really kind of acting as creative stewards. So it's we steward the creative assets for our clients. Uh, and it, it goes well beyond that. We have sort of a full portfolio of opportunities and full portfolio of thinking about a platform. And that platform consists of things like traffic opportunities, things like talent management, making sure all the rights are enabled, um, and the actual delivery of the creative. Some of the barriers around measurement and data on TV is just the ecosystem that's available, right? If you think of the digital ecosystem, it's somewhat easy to grab data, mostly because everything is IP connected, so you're, you've got a closed loop opportunity where everything is coming back fairly quick and coming back you know, as you're doing it. In television, it, it, there's just really no closed loop opportunity, right? Like there are, if you look at the technology that's available through the MVPDs, but the reality is the MVPDs, even if they have a set top box that can return data back through a return path, the reality is not all of them are connected and some of them that are connected aren't connected to the internet. So there are challenges with firstly, actually collecting the data. And then secondly, there's all sorts of concern around privacy these days. And so, you know, is, uh, can you leverage viewership data to actually target? Um, can you leverage uh, their names and addresses in a PII compliant way? Um, so the answers around some of that is, is yes, but it's really about, you know, you're talking about proxies to actually collect data. And so to me, the, the biggest barrier is the ecosystem that's there. In order to transform uh, an industry such as television into something new, you, there are a number of factors that you would need to consider there. So firstly, there are a lot of opportunities around technology that's being surfaced, right? Whether it's delivering content um, through direct-to-consumer channels, through the apps that are through Roku or other smart TV devices, uh, or it's you know some of the ad stack that we we think about in, in conferences like this. Um, whether it's how do you deliver the creative, how do you target the creative, how do you measure the creative. So there are lots of little different pieces that are in the ecosystem today. If you think about the ad tech industry, the martech industry, there are lots of different technologies that are available to address singular problems. So if you think about targeting, um, that's really where a demand side platform comes in for an advertiser. If you think about data management, that's where data management platforms or customer data platforms come into play. Uh, being able to measure um, targeting, being able to measure, um, uh, being able to measure first-party data, and, and that sort of thing. Um, if you think about creative distribution, that's where folks like Extreme Reach fit. Uh, there are lots of different areas we are developing to actually get the creative to the correct audience at the appropriate time, making sure that the story is where it should be. I do not believe there is a singular platform that's available to act as a, as a silver bullet to really align digital and television. And the reason is much like we've just discussed throughout this, this process, like there's a lot of infrastructure on traditional linear television that doesn't lend itself to digital video. There's lots of digital video that's a little bit more advanced than what's happening on the TV side, so it's, it's, hard, it's sort of hard to bridge the gap. Um, where it becomes, I, I think where we're going is just the ability to leverage what's happening in the digital space in terms of data collection, attribution, and that sort of thing, and really bringing it home on the, on the linear TV side. There are lots of different companies that are out there in terms of attribution and data collection and technology to serve ads in particular ways. I don't believe there's a silver bullet right now, but we are certainly on the way. And I think you know this environment like we're talking about here at Videonomics is really gonna help drive the conversation forward.